thing that mum did before she passed was she gave me a red Bible, so it's in the driver's door of my car. It's my mum's Bible, so she's always with me. I am the daughter. I think when we first started, we didn't know each other, and we didn't talk to each other, and we all looked on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, well, who's that person, and who's that person? I've got to remember new names now. Everybody in, this, in the room had something different and when they gave their story as we did today it was just so amazing that we all had something different to say and I kept thinking when I went home I think this is a funny group because we are, we are so different different nationalities different characters and everybody has something else tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night what immortal hand or beast shaped thy fearful symmetry? This boy, he was um, a dreamer. And she said, please, I want my dog back, I want my dog, and cried. And she, we got a hold of this rope, they got, and she tied it to a tree. I was a bit nervous when I came first, but, but after a couple of hours, I was so settled. And I think I've been doing it all my life. You took your own pace at everything, and you'd have a session where after two days you're still getting benefit from it. And it gets you out of a rotten doze, because when you do nothing with your life, you form a rot and you just sit and doze and not doing anything. And now I'm getting out and meeting people and it's made a big difference to my life. So once upon a time there was a young boy and he had a very kind grandmother who lived in a very small village. She promised him that she'd grant him one wish. Our bodies are moving more than we've ever, ever, ever done. I'm bending, I'm straightening. I, I fell over and hurt my shoulder, but when I'm doing this, the shoulder don't hurt. This has made such a difference to our lives, you don't understand. He found himself standing on top of a mountain of whipped cream. He took some of the whipped cream in his hand and ate it, but that was all he ate. And after 10 minutes, he was back with his grandmother again. There once was a boy who had a brother. His mother used to always buy him second-hand clothes. And the only thing that he ever had that gave him any expression was his own shoes, because he had slightly bigger feet than his brother. That set in his mind a thought that when I get older, I'm not only going to get involved in shoes, I'm going to make my very own shoes. Nobody's going to choose my shoes for me. I'm going to make my own. Under the shoe. None of us knew each other when we started in January, but we sort of grown, we've grown really close together. We're like a family. Yeah, I like a family, and we've really sort of worked hard at this, and uh, you know, we've not done anything like this before. And the day before she was ready to come to England. Her grandmother and grandfather was very sad. And this girl, she's still living around. She discovered that she was one of the Green Rush babies. I'm the tightrope walker. I am the shoemaker. I am the historian. I'm the music lover. I'm a sculptor. I am the shaman. I am the tiger. I am the traveller. I am the daughter. But when I caught a chanter in our alliteration, I was liberated. And we were all happy. And I'm getting better. So my thanks go to everybody here. Thank you.